a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers in christ so today as uh, brother ashish told uh, we're going to speak a very important topic and that is about uh, baptism so generally uh, baptism means uh, everybody thinks that uh, if you change your faith uh, if you believe in jesus uh, then uh, you need to take uh, a baptism and uh, some other people even uh, among christianity they usually take baptism when they change from church to church you see when the, they move out from one the, uh, church to other church they also take uh, baptism and uh, it is believed that uh, without baptism there is no salvation there is no uh, you see uh, so there is no way that you will be saved so one person who is not taken uh, baptism he will uh, be not saved that means uh, he will go to hell we already studied the subject about hell that hell is not a like, uh, place of torment but it's a place uh, where the dead go that's the grave so uh, still other people also believe that uh, you see because of this concept that uh, if you don't take baptism you will go to hell only if you do, uh, those who are taken baptism will go to heaven that is the reason that what happened in the dark ages uh, you see during the period of hindi christ uh, they invented a concept about uh, child baptism because uh, if a child uh, dies uh, you see before uh, coming to maturity you see before uh, offering uh, you see himself to god and before he taking uh, <clears throat> baptism if the child is unnecessarily because of a uh, uh, man's uh, this rule a child will go to hell therefore they invented uh, the concept called as a child baptism so when the child comes to a little bit of age a child is given baptism then again a question uh, came up for saying uh, uh okay child baptism is good what about the uh, babies uh, who born and who die within few days uh, or within few you see minutes uh, what about them uh, they will also go to hell no uh, simply without any mistake of them they're going to hell so we need to do something for them so that is the time uh, uh, they implemented the theory called as infant baptism so even the child uh, as it is born uh, they give uh, you see uh, baptism okay uh uh so baptism uh for child for the infant immersion uh is not possible why because it's too little for the baby to get immersed into the water uh therefore what they did was that they invented one more this one called as sprinkling baptism you see uh because baptism means complete immersion in the water uh, so a small baby or infant can never surely be completely immersed in water it will be you see very danger uh, for his life so they again invented the called uh, something called as a uh, sprinkling baptism uh, so sprinkling the water you see on them and uh, baptizing them in the name of the father and the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost uh, so uh, <coughs> so this is how uh, uh uh what you say uh, this concept came into the churches and uh, so until the child comes to maturity uh, there was a god father and the god mother appointed for the child to care take care of all the spiritual interest of the child until the child comes to real maturity and take their own decision so they were called as god father and they were called as god mother also so and sometimes even you see uh, the uh, doctors and the surgeons and the uh, nurses were also given the rights to immerse the child uh, in baptism once the doctor realized that, uh, that the child is going to die you see they were also even given the rights uh, to give uh, baptism sprinkling baptism to the uh, you see uh, infants so that the infants may uh, get uh, saved and uh, how many times a, a person need to take baptism you see uh, some people tell uh, oh it should be taken in the name of the father uh, it should be taken in the name of the son it should be taken in the name of the holy spirit uh, that means so uh, three times baptism has to be taken you see and still some people believe no brother it is not three time if you are uh, need to be completely cleansed we need to take uh, seven times why seven times sir you see because naman took seven times uh, you see the seven dippings of naman 
Uh, so, Naaman was saved, uh, you see, because of his uh, seven uh, uh, dippings uh, in River Jordan. So, similarly, we also need to take, uh, you see, seven times. Uh, so, uh, this is how, you see, uh, the baptism, number of uh, times you take baptism uh, came into, you see, various theories. Uh, okay. But uh, ultimately, you see, what is the concept of baptism? Why do we need to take baptism? Why somebody takes baptism? Okay. So, Mausam Mother, if I ask you this question, why a person has to take baptism? So, what is the meaning of baptism? What do, what do you think? What's your opinion? Mausam Mother? Yes, brother, about baptism, uh, my view uh, is like it is the uh, instruction given by God, it's, uh, but it doesn't uh, recover, uh, it doesn't clean, cleanize our sins, but it, it is the, uh, it's like a law, maybe given by the God. Okay. What is the meaning of baptism then? Uh, baptism uh, is that uh, dipping our uh, dipping our uh, previous nature. Uh, Very good. Hmm. Okay, dipping our previous nature and. Okay, <clears throat> then we'll see today. Okay, not an issue. Okay, uh, good. Uh, I got some good thoughts. Uh, generally, uh, in the world, if you ask this question, what is the meaning of baptism? Why do we need to take baptism? You see, the baptism is a the the real thing. What they tell uh, is that a baptism is uh, for uh, cleansing of all our uh, sinful things uh, <clears throat> that we are no more. Which is the same person that we are a new person, and to show that we have become new person, we left off all our old things. You see, the baptism is taken. Okay, so okay, so before accepting Jesus, so what all things we have done? Okay, so it is like cleansing of all those things, and uh, rising out of the water. It is like uh, you see, rising out new, a new. So all things uh, are totally gone. So we become a new, you see, a person. So all of our old sins are forgiven. So from today, it's a new thing. Okay. If uh, baptism is for cleansing of our all our old sins, then what about the sins or the sinful or uh, things uh, or sinful activities, uh, you see, the violation of God's uh, law, which we do after baptism. Correct, no? See, yeah. after baptism, I am sure nobody becomes 100% pure. Correct, no? Let it be anybody in this world. Are we 100% pure, holy, harmless, you see, undefiled? No. You see? And what about the sins? And what about the activities uh, which you do after our baptism? No, uh, how do we uh, cleanse of all these things? Uh, and do we think that uh, we need to take baptism again and again? You see, should we take the baptism every now and then when we commit sin and we need to become new again and again? What does the Bible say? What is actually required for our sins to be completely forgiven or our sins to be completely cleansed? So, what is that which is actually required in us? Is it baptism? If you put this question and seek the answer for this question from the Bible, you know, what does the Bible say? Bible says, 1 John 1, 7 as a reply. Let us read, brother. 1 John 1, 7. Please read, Mausam, brother. Okay, brother. Uh, 1 John 1, 7, brother. Yeah. Should I read from the screen or... From Bible, brother. Oh, whichever way you're comfortable. I would appreciate whichever way. Not an issue. 
uh, okay, let's try from the Bible. Uh, good, that's very excellent. I'm really happy. Thank you, yeah, I brother. Be the same. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's written like this. Uh, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Ah, the blood of Christ, his son. Blood of Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sins. This is what the Bible says. The scripture never says, baptism cleanses you of all sins. No. You see, the Bible clearly says that it is the blood of Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ's blood, your faith on that blood, that is what cleanses a person of all their sins. Okay. If blood of Christ is the one that cleanses us, then... Why so many people believe that, uh, you see, uh, we need to take baptism, so all our things are cleansed. Uh, why? Because, you see, John the Baptist gave baptism. You see, he is the one who first, uh, you see, gave baptism at the first advent of Jesus. Uh, you see? So then, he used some particular words. Because of that only, today, entire Christian people have this faith. So let us read those verses, brother. Matthew 3, 6, brother. And 3, 11. First okay. read Matthew 3, 11 and uh, Matthew 3, 6, brother. Matthew 3, 11 is written like this. I indeed bat bat baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that come after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. See, John the Baptist said, I indeed baptize you with baptism. Uh -huh. Unto what? Uh -huh. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. You see, unto repentance. So, John the Baptist gave why baptism? He gave the baptism for repentance. Read verse 6, brother, now. Repentance from what? Hmm. Uh, yeah, 6. Hmm. And were baptized for him in Jordan, confess, confess, confessing their sins. Confessing their sins. You see, they confessed their sins. They repented from their sin. And as a significance of it, they took water baptism. You see? And uh, even the apostles of Jesus Christ also gave the same baptism. Same thing they gave. Read. John 4, chapter, verse 1 and 2. John 4, verse 1 and 2. Okay, brother. Good. Yeah, it's written like this, brother. Uh, when therefore the Lord know how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples. Underline it. You see, the same baptism the disciples of Jesus also gave. But uh, you note at one point, Jesus himself did not baptize anybody. Did you observe that words, brother? Yeah, yeah. Underline it. Why? We will see the answer in the last. Don't forget to ask me that question. Okay, you will get the answer, but uh, just for a reminder's sake. Why okay. did not Jesus give baptism? The same baptism was given by the apostles. What John the Baptist gave, the same thing was given by the apostles to everybody. You see, remember, even on the day of Pentecost, when 3,000 people got converted, on the spot, the same baptism was also given. Read. Acts 2nd chapter, verse 38, brother. Okay, brother. Hmm. Second verse 38. It's written like this. Uh, Though has made known to me the ways of life, thou shalt may make me full of joy with my countenance. Oh, brother. Acts of the Apostles, 2nd chapter, 38 verse, brother. 
Ah, twentieth. I did twentieth. Sorry, brother. Okay, yeah. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mm. You see, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for what? For the remission of sins. You see, so for the forgiveness of sins, uh, you see, for the remission of sins, uh, you see, for the clean cleansing of the sins, uh, for confessing your sins, uh, be baptized. Uh, okay. So, in all these incidents, uh, we are clearly observed, the Bible says that the baptism is for the remission of sins, uh, uh, sign of repentance. Okay. Now, let us uh, put on question, then why did Jesus take baptism? We all know, no, Jesus also took baptism. Correct now, brother? Yeah, but uh, Jesus was also been baptized by uh, John. Correct. John Why was did he take baptism? Is Sorry? it for remission of the sins? Is it for the repentance to show that he is repented? To John has given um, baptism hmm. for the re uh, remission of sin, right? Correct. And why did Jesus but... take? Uh, did was Jesus a sinner? Why did he take the baptism of repentance then? Jesus, yes, Jesus. Ah, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I don't know why Jesus take baptism. Good. I don't know really because he was he came on the flesh, right? Correct. I think it was it came on the flesh, so hmm. maybe it was uh, it was the uh, law. We are going even. to see that answer today. Okay, so that is the main point here. That is the main theme and the main, this one, where the entire subject of baptism stands upon. Why Jesus took baptism from John the Baptist? If he is not a sinner, if he doesn't have any sin at all, then why did Jesus take baptism? John the Baptist was giving the baptism for the remission of sins. What was the necessary that Jesus should take this baptism? Correct now. Huh? Yeah. Let us read Matthew. Same question was asked by John the Baptist brother. Matthew 3rd chapter verse 14 and 15 brother. Okay brother. Uh. Uh, but John forbade him saying, I have need to be baptized for thee and comes do to me. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. For those it become us to fulfill all righteousness, then he suffered him. Okay. When Jesus came to take baptism from John the Baptist, the first thing John the Baptist said was, he stopped Jesus from taking baptism. Why? Huh? He put a question, why are you are taking baptism? Actually, I should be taking baptism from you. You are not a sinner like all the other people. No, why? What is the necessity for you to take baptism? What did Jesus reply? Jesus replies, suffer it to be so now. Allow it now. You see, because by doing so, I am fulfilling all the righteousness. This is the main, you see, but the answer for baptism. Today, we are going to see what is the meaning of it. See, therefore, we need to study the Bible. We just casually read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and go, nothing really goes to our head. We need to question, reason out from the Bible. What does the Bible say? Come, let us reason together, said the Lord. Any question, strong questions, uh, God of Jacob tells, uh, bring out all your strong reasons. Uh, let us reason together. We need to think and discuss and ask the Lord, answer for it. Therefore, Bible study is a different thing than Bible reading. You see, the in-depth Bible study, we need to understand the concepts of God. You see, then only we can follow the footsteps of our master. Correct, no? See, Jesus gave a reply. Now, what is the meaning of the reply? You see, he did not uh, come and give complete explanation to John the Baptist. Uh, you see, if Jesus never gave complete explanation, now why? What happened? Uh, dear brethren, we need to study from the Bible. You see, now do we study the Bible? Here a little. Uh, next, uh, Muslim mother. Here a little and? Here a little. Very good. Search the scriptures. Correct now, the Bible says, search scriptures and none shall miss or mate. 
all the questions in the Bible as the answer only from the Bible. And then, why John the Baptist took, sorry, gave this baptism and why Jesus took it? You see, but John the Baptist resisted, even then Jesus took it. Why? First of all, then, we need to study what was the baptism that John the Baptist actually gave. Correct now? Okay, now let us study the verses again and see what baptism, you see, John the Baptist gave and to whom did he give? Matthew, third chapter, verse 2, brother. Then, same chapter, verse 7 and 8, brother. Matthew, third, verses 2, okay. And saying, repent you, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Ah, the first thing John the Baptist preached was repent, repent, repent. For what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The, the selection for the heavenly part of the kingdom. You see, the one like 44,000, he is at hand. It is happening very shortly. So therefore, repent. Okay, now, to whom did John the Baptist say these words? Did he say this one for the whole world? Let us see verse 7 and 8 for that. 7 and 8, okay. Mm. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his bapti baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the world to come, bring for themselves therefore fruit Meet for repentance. Ah, you see, dear brethren, you see, John the Baptist told this verse to whom? The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, you see, the tax collectors. He told this one to the Jewish people. He said, bring forth the fruits of repentance. Why? Why did he tell particularly to this category of people, particularly to the Jewish people? Why? What sin they had done? Right now it says, repent and bring forth the fruits of repentance. You see? And what was the sin that they had done? It clearly says that uh, who had warned you about the wrath of God to come upon you. That means God was angry upon Jewish people. Why? What wrong they had done? You see, we all know that the Jewish people were given the law. Correct, Abhita? Yes. When they came out of Egypt at Mount Sinai, they received the law. And there, the entire Jewish people agreed that we will keep all your law and abide by it. Correct, no? Yes. Yes. Very good. So, the entire Jewish nation was actually baptized first time when they came out of Egypt. Read. 1 Corinthians yeah. 10 chapter 1 and 2. 1 Corinthians 10 chapter 1 and 2. The entire Israel as a nation were already baptized. Yeah, I, I I read that before also. Good, brother, good. One and two, yeah, brother, it's written like this. Moreover, Brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. See? The entire Jewish nation, brother, we are all baptized into whom, brother? Moses. Moses, not God. Underline it. They are baptized into Moses. Why? Because God gave the law covenant through Moses. And they had to be obedient to Moses. It is like immersing themselves into Moses. That they will completely surrender to Moses and agree what all Moses says. But did the Jewish people... Did the nation of Israel agree and obey to all the commandments which God had given through Moses? Were they obedient? Huh? Were they obedient? Were the Israel as a nation were obedient to the commandments which God gave? Not, not all. Not no. totally. Yes, not all. Correct. They were never obedient. They were stiff-necked people. They were disobedient. Hence, yes. uh, John the Baptist said to the Jewish people, repent. That means they were already baptized, uh, that they will agree, they will obey. But did they obey? No. Hence, uh, 
the baptism of John the Baptist was only for the Jewish nation. Underline it. It is not for the whole world. It was only for, for the people of Israel. You see, therefore, he addressed the Pharisees, Sadducees, lawyers, scribes. You see, tax collectors who all came to take baptism. He said, repent, repent, repent. From all the violations which are violated against the God's law. Read Acts 22.16 also. See, there, Apostle Paul were, you know, we know very Apostle Paul was very zealous in the Lord. Even he also took the same baptism of repentance, brother. Read Acts 22.16, brother. Acts 22.16, okay, brother. Hmm. And now, why theories though, arise and be baptized and wash away the sin, calling on the name of the Lord. Oh, see, he was addressing, oh, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized. How? Wash away thy sins. That means even Apostle Paul took the same baptism of baptism of repentance. Why? Because he was also under the law. Did Apostle Paul keep the entire law? No. He violated the major portion, you see, huh? persecuting the church. Uh, that was against the uh, law of God. Love the neighbor as the, thyself. He was hating the neighbor as uh, everybody else. You see, that was the violation of God. Uh. Therefore, dear brethren, he repented and baptized, washing away his sins. This was there for the entire Jewish nation. Until when? Until... The 70 weeks of favor ended to the Jewish people. I hope you have heard this subject. I will take this subject, brother. Christ first advent, 70 weeks of favor to the Jewish people. I will take it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You see, the special favor and grace of God was given to the Jewish nation for 70 weeks, brother. 70 weeks, the special favor was upon them. You see, and until this favor was over, God could never leave the Jewish people and turn to the Gentiles. So, if anybody of the Jewish people, they are repenting and turning back to God within the 70 week of favor, they had to take this baptism of John the Baptist and come back to God to have fellowship. You see, but uh, you know what happened? After the 70 weeks of favor were ended, you see, God rejected the Jewish people. The nation of Israel was rejected. We have studied the subject of Israel. You see, after the crucifixion, how they were rejected by God. They were scattered all over the world. Do you remember, brother? Yeah. So what happened there? When Israel was rejected, God turned to the Gentiles. Yes. Remember the church class? The lack and 44,000? They yeah. are selected first from the Israel nation and later on they are selected from the Gentiles. Correct now? Yes. Yes. So, first it was a Jewish nation. Once they rejected, God turned to the Gentiles. Read Acts 13, 46 brother, and Acts 15, 14. Acts 13, 46 is written like this. Uh, for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep and was led unto his father and saw corruption. Very good, brother. See, yeah. No, no, no. Acts 13.46. Read again. 13.46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you, put it from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life. Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Ah, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. First offer was given to the Jewish nation. Once they rejected, God turned to the Gentiles. Read Acts 15, 14. Yes. Uh, Simon had declared 
how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Mm, God first did visit the Gentiles to take out a people for his name. You see, no, it is like this one. You see, uh, the promise which God made to Abraham is compared to a olive tree. Brother. You see, so the Israel people were the branches, natural branches of that olive tree. Now, what happened? That natural branches of the olive tree did not have faith on Abrahamic premise. They were unbelieving people. So what happened? God actually cut off some of the branches which did not have faith. So some space were empty there. You see, not all the Jewish people had faith on God. We all know very well. Those who had faith on Lord, they accepted Christ and came behind Christ. But those who did not accept Christ... They were in unbelief. They were cut off. Read Acts, uh, sorry, Romans 11, chapter 17 and verse 20. Romans 11, Romans. chapter, verse 17 uh, and 20, brother. Okay, brother. Seventeen and twenty only. Mm. And if some of the branches be broken off, and though being a wild olive tree, with graft in among them, and with them part partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree, well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and though standed by faith, be not high minded, but fear. See, what happened, brother? There is a natural olive tree. Some of the branches were cut off. Why? The verse says it was because of unbelief. They were broken off. Now, what has happened? An olive tree, some space is there. Correct, no? Natural olive tree, some space is there. But along with the natural olive tree, there is also one more olive tree, a wild olive tree. That is the Gentile nations, the Gentile people. Natural olive tree is the Israel nation. Correct, no? Now, Israel yeah. nation, everybody did not have faith. So, some people were cut off. Now, what is there? Empty space is there. Somebody can come and fill it. Now, this opportunity was going to who? The Gentiles who were like the wild olive branches. Read, brother. Read again verse 17, brother. Huh? And if some of the branches be broken off, and though being a wild olive tree, wait graft in among them, and with the partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree. You see, ah, we are the wild olive tree who are grafted there. You see, now why were we grafted? Huh? You see, because some of the people were broken off there. So space is there. That's what verse 19 says. Though we'll say then, the branches were broken off that I may be grafted in. Yes. The branches were taken off so that the Gentiles may come into the God's promise. You see, if you observe this, uh, you see a slide very clearly. Brother. So natural olive is there. That is the nation of Israel. The wild olive is there. That is the Gentile people. So some of the Jewish people were cut off because it's not a faith. Now, what happened? You see, the Gentile people who had faith, like Abraham, they, but they were wild. What did God do? They took off the branches and grafted him in the natural olive tree. So, what has happened? The Gentile people have come into the Abrahamic promise. Correct? No? So, we are all Gentiles. Are we not uh, come under the Abrahamic promise, brother? Yes. We are coming up from promise. How? How was it possible? This is by grafting. This is what uh, Apostle Paul tries to explain in the book of Romans. Okay. Now you tell me. Yeah. Huh? Because, uh, because uh, of grafted in the natural olive tree, we become um, the son of Abraham, right? Correct. Excellent. Absolutely true. Correct. Okay. Uh, now, the question comes is that but brother, uh, just a simple question. 
but i will i will ask you later later okay okay now see we have become the sons of abraham okay now how did you become where we baptized any time before in in moses in the red sea no where we where we under the law na no no there. but our ancestor were were there correct but they were not under the law only the jewish people were given the law and can 10 commandments were given only to the jewish people correct now it was not given to our forefathers it was not given to your forefathers correct now because you are all gentiles correct now brother are jews from the abraham uh, from i think uh, from the um, abraham the, like correct, descendants sir. okay abraham's descendants are the jewish people but are we jewish people not uh, are our ancestors from abraham descendants oh you are abraham you are abraham descendant ah no my my ancestors oh no 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 we are none of our ancestors are abraham descendant brother ah uh, okay it been separated from the abraham right uh, we were ah. but we were so, uh, same fr- uh, from <laughs> adam but is separated from abraham yeah right. i got it See, adam had so many sons okay yeah yeah from adam noah generation only what happened three sons you uh, see they formed in the three sons shem ham and japheth correct no yes so shem only through shem only what happened abraham came not directly shem begat abraham so many sons begat then later through nahor you see tera abraham was begat correct no yeah so there is a genealogy so we don't come directly into abraham at all okay but we are the children of adam so that is different than compared to the sons of abraham correct no brother yes brother okay now we are not the natural holy tree we are the wild holy tree correct no yeah no we were never under the law correct ah yes so how come this baptism of repentance which god gave through john the baptist applies to us it never applies at all because we were never under the law correct no we could never violate god's law because god had never given to us so this baptism of repentance for the gentiles is not at all applicable then then brother then is there no baptism for us who are gentiles yes baptism is there then what is the meaning of baptism for a gentile you see for the not uh, for the jewish people what is the real meaning of baptism you see for a gentile the answer is given by apostle paul in roman 6 chapter brother verse 3 4 and 5 you see remember here apostle paul is writing this letter to the romans the romans were not a jewish people remember they were the gentiles they were gentile convert correct brother yeah now he gives the clear explanation of what actually a baptism means read brother uh rom 6 4 and 5 Roman 6 chapter 3 4 and 5 3 4 5 okay know you not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death ah yeah. you see here apostle paul tells uh, what is the meaning of baptism? what is he say don't you know that so many of uh, us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into what what are we baptized into repentance ah baptized into jesus christ no 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 baptized into what read again brother read verse 3 again into his death Correct, sorry sorry brother sorry. into his death that is yeah, yeah. the real meaning of baptism baptism actually means you know after 70 ad this is applicable both to the gentiles and the jewish people baptism in the bible means it is baptizing ourselves into the death of christ that was meaning apostle paul is clearly telling don't you know that those who all took baptism in jesus the meaning of it was that you are baptizing yourself into the death of christ you see immersion into the death of christ that is the meaning of baptism not for repentance not for cleansing 
not something new. No, it is to be dead in Christ. Brother, Continue please. Uh, we'll I, I, see. I, I, Don't worry. Okay. Wait till the end of the class. Okay. Then you write okay. all your questions and ask, you will discuss. Okay, brother? Okay, brother. Okay, good. Now Thank continue you. reading. Yeah. Therefore, we are born with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. Mm, you see, even as Christ also died and was raised Similarly, we also should be dead and walk in the newness of life. Huh? life. Why? Continue, brother. Huh? For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Why? This is necessary. Because you want to reign with Christ. You want to rule with Christ for a thousand years. Then this is important. Because if you are dead in Christ... If you're dead like Christ only, you can be resurrected like Jesus Christ in the first resurrection and rule with him. No. Here, what is the meaning of death of Christ? You see? Now, know you not that we are baptized into Jesus Christ or baptized into his death. Now, what is the meaning of his death? What is the death of Christ? You see? Uh, see, Adam is there. He is the first Adam. Second Adam is there. Correct now, brother? Huh? Yeah. Now both of them died. Correct now? Yes. Correct. Very good. Now why did Adam die? First Adam. Why did he die? Because of his own. Uh, Adam died because hmm. of his sin. Very good. Excellent. Absolutely right. And why did Jesus die? For our sin. Very good brother. That is the difference. Adam died as a sinner. But Jesus died for the sinner. It was a sacrificial death. You got the difference, brother, between the death of Adam and the death of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yes. That is the sacrificial death which we want to be immersed into. That is the meaning of baptism. Got it, brother? So, remember how Jesus took baptism. What was his heart condition when he took baptism? You see, it's given in Hebrews 10, 7. Lo, I come, O Lord, to do thy will. That was the hard condition of Jesus. Read Hebrews 10, 7. Then said, Lo, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of books it is written for me to do the will, O God. Hmm. You see, lo, I come. I am coming, O Lord. This was his heart condition when he immersed himself in River Jordan. I am coming, O Lord. Why? You see, to do thy will. Because in the volume of book, in the law, in the Old Testament, everything is written about me. I am coming to fulfill all those things and do thy will. This is the heart condition of Jesus. This is the same heart condition which we should have when we immerse, that is the meaning of baptism, to be dead in Christ. Therefore, you know Apostle Paul, what did he say? Apostle Paul clearly said, we are dead. We are no more alive. We are dead in Christ. You see? And our life is dead in Christ. Read Colossians 3, 3, brother. For you are dead and your life is hid with the Christ in God. See? You are dead. Your life is hid in Christ in God. You are dead, you see? And uh, read Galatians 2.20, brother. Huh? I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Et not, et not I, but Christ live in me. And the life which I know, uh, which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. You see? Very clearly, brother, it says, I am crucified with Christ. You see, nevertheless, I live, I live, I am living. But it is not me who is living, but it is Christ who is living. I am dead in Christ, but I am living like Christ in this world. This is the real meaning of baptism. You remember, you see, Jesus said one to once to his disciples, Don't you know that I have baptism to be baptized? And how I am comfortable until I accomplish the triumph. Read Luke 12.50, brother. 
but I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I strengthened till it be accomplished? You see, I am in much, very much difficulty until I finish that one. Until I achieve that one, I am in an uncomfortable zone. That's what Jesus said. That. Now, you tell me, was Jesus telling about little baptism, brother? Was he telling about uh, emerging into the water? Not he's telling about the death. No, he was telling about, you see, his actual death. Correct, he was telling about actually his death. The baptism which he took at Jordan was just a symbol, brother. But actual baptism was when he was supposed to die for the Lord on, on cross. You see, therefore, he was not speaking about a little baptism. He was speaking about the baptism of his death. Remember, you see, the disciples of Jesus, James and John, they sent his mother to request Jesus to sit on the left side and right side. Correct now? now what did Jesus say to them? Read Mark 10, chapter 35 to 38, brother. Mark 10, 35 to 38. Okay, brother. And James and John, the son of Zab Zabedi, came unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest be for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would you that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit on the thy right hand, on the other on my on the left hand in the glory. But Jesus said unto them, You know not what you ask. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? You see? He said, Can you be baptized with the baptism baptized with? You see? The disciples gave the same baptism to everybody. More than the disciples John the Baptist. So what was difficult for them to baptize in water? Jesus was not speaking about little baptism at all. He was not speaking of that baptism. He was speaking the baptism of his death. With a, therefore, what John the Baptist gave baptism, what Jesus took the baptism was altogether different. You know, it's totally different. John the Baptist was giving baptism of repentance only for Jewish people. Jewish people means what? Which nation? Israel. Very good. He was giving only for Israel, not for Gentiles at all. Therefore, when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming to take baptism, what did he say to Jesus? He's read. Like... Yes, read that verse. Now you will understand. Matthew 3rd chapter, verse 14. Yeah, it's written like this. Uh, but John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee and come unto me. Mm, and Jesus... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what did he say? I have need to be baptized of you, but you come to me. What is the meaning of this one? You know, what is the meaning of this one? John the Baptist clearly knew that Jesus was sinless. Correct, no? Yes. How did he come to know? How did he come because, to know that Jesus was a sinless person? Because he was giving the baptism for the forgiveness, like for the sin. Okay. Uh, he knew he was the son of God. How? Because he is going to I'll give you a clue. be baptized on his death. I'll give you a clue. Uh, because uh, on they were met before uh, on the character. when like they worship on the stomachs. Uh, wait, wait, what, what? Mm, when their mother met each other. Correct, brother. You see the screen there. Yes. You see, Elizabeth was already conceived. 
when mary came to meet uh, elizabeth elizabeth was already 6 months john the baptist to seeing uh, jesus in his womb he you see he jumped he rejoiced to see jesus correct no yeah that means john the baptist and jesus are relatives cousin brothers yeah yeah so definitely after the birth they would have discussed he you born with the holy spirit you know by god's grace uh, you would have told all these things so he you not like everybody you are powerful you see you not a sinner mary would have told all these things to jesus ha uh, correct na no? yeah and uh, elizabeth uh, is a mother sister uh, they would have discussed auntie and uh, she would also told everything so john the baptist so elder brother john the baptist younger brother jesus were very close they clearly knew that jesus is not like a ordinary person jesus is harmless holy separate from sinners undefiled even from birth this one was known clearly to john the baptist correct no yes now if jesus comes to take baptism for the repentance of sin when he is not a sinner definitely john the baptist will put a question to him no why yeah. you are taking correct no yeah that is the question which jesus john the baptist put you see huh? as for the situation actually i should be taking from you because i am a sinner you are not a sinner so why do you want to take this baptism you see at that moment jesus did not explain to him clearly what you have studied today correct no brother yeah why because that was not the proper situation there was no sufficient of time if jesus would have sat and explained no 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 you don't know i am taking baptism into death if you would have if you told then john the baptist would have put one more question correct na correct mm-hmm. brother if jesus would have given a simple explanation john the baptist yeah. would have put again one more question correct na yeah so what as you told na see even as i am telling you asking question 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 so what will happen the question 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 simply discussion will go so answer he won't be able to get because that is not the situation where he was able to understand everything correct or brother yeah therefore jesus did not give complete explanation he simply said what did he say read now verse you see verse 15 mm. matthew 3:15 and jesus answering said unto him suffer it to be so now no ah, allow it don't disturb it please don't argue please don't disturb leave it now why continue with na for though it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness then you he see, suffered you him you see it is like fulfilling all righteousness that means in god's plan there is something hidden about this baptism that is what we studied today you see that one that secret about the baptism into death of christ could not be explained to john the baptist because he could never understand it you see therefore jesus said fulfill it all under all righteousness allow it by doing so i am trying to do god's will leave it this is the baptism which we need to take with us not the baptism of remission of sin for forgiveness for leaving all those old things no 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 all these things are put in a baggage and you see and throw it off that is not the what the bible says you see this is the meaning of baptism who is our role model who is our hero who is he jesus christ we should follow his two footsteps or whose footsteps we should follow his footsteps if he has left as a role model to take this baptism should we not take it or not brother yes yes we should take it in a proper way you see read the bible first peter 321 you see the meaning of baptism read brother first peter 321 hmm the like figure where unto even baptism doth also now say was not the putting away of the filth of the flesh ah you see not uh, the putting away the filth of flesh you see there the answer is given you see baptism you see is not putting away the filth of the flesh 
That means what? It is not for the cleansing of sin. No, 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 no. That is not at all. Baptism is never for the remission of sins. It was there only for 70 AD. Only till 70 AD. After 70 AD, that is not at all applicable. Even for the Jewish people. Even for the Israel people. If they have to take baptism, that is not at all applicable. You see, baptism of repentance is gone. The chapter is closed. It was there only for till 70 AD. It clearly says, you see, baptism doth also now says, uh, saves us. This is not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. Then what is the meaning of baptism? Continue, Buddha. Uh. But the answer of a good conscience towards God by the recognition of Jesus Christ. Answer of a good conscience towards God, Buddha. You know, what is the meaning of answer of good conscience? God has done so many things to us. See the mighty universe which is great. God has created. All those things are there. But God has left all these things. And seen us. You see, he looked us, he beheld us. When we were seen us, he gave his son to die for us on the cross. You see, it's not so easy to voluntarily go and die for something. To voluntarily give blood for somebody also. Or you need to think thousand times. To die for somebody, nobody would take the step. But God is so merciful that he gave it. And even after committing lot of sins, he keeps on forgiving us of all our sins. Day by day, grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, divine protection, divine blessings. You see, God's love, all these things, realizing our unworthiness, that we are never fit for such things at all. But even then, God has granted us this privilege. You know, based on this privilege, you see, we surrender to God. God, what can I render unto you? What can I give unto you? Nothing. I Whatever I give you is just nothing, nothing, less than nothing. But I offer my bodies as a living sacrifice to you, God. That is consecration. From today, I am going to die for you, Lord. I am going to live like Christ lived. I am going to be dead to the world. This is what the symbol also means. You take a person, don't sprinkle water. Don't put him in a tap. Don't dip him. Immerse it backside. Put him back again. You know what it means? You see, let it be any expert in swimmer. You see, an expert swimmer also can't just uh, fall backside. It's very difficult. You see, and if, especially if uh, you need some support at the back car. Uh, you see, dear Budrayan, you know, that uh, is the meaning of baptism. Uh, we, we, we are not able to die ourselves. We need the support of Christ. Christ helps us to die for the world. And live like Christ. He is the one who helps us, who is, you see, helping us to die for the world and live in Christ, dear Budrayan. This is the real meaning and symbol, uh, you see. And therefore, you know, uh, this... Uh, uh, what uh, Jesus said, uh, if any man wants to be my disciple, deny yourself, carry the cross and follow me. This is the basic character of a Christian. The basic thing a Christian has to do. The symbol has to be taken in a proper way, at compulsorily, at any cost. You know, some people, they have a belief that, oh, baptism has to be taken only once. Correct? Only once when? If you take a proper, correct baptism. Or else, whatever baptism you have taken... If it is not the correct one, it is like just simply dipping in water. Now you tell me, Naman took seven times. Correct number, he dipped in Jordan seven times. Correct number? Yeah. What is Was it baptism? No. No, very good. Correct. It was not baptism. Why? He just dipped without knowing anything. Then how can it be considered as baptism? No, that is not baptism. Similarly, we may tell the name of Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus. Just because you dip in the name of Jesus is baptism. What did Jesus say? Not everybody who says Lord, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of God. Correct. Correct, no? So just because you tell the name of the Lord, do you think uh, whatever you do in the name of the Lord will accept it? No. This is what early ecclesia, early church also did. You know, Ephesus church, they were Gentiles. They did the same mistake. You see, Apostle Paul came 
and questioned them. And they realized their mistake. You know, what did the entire ecclesia do, brother? Entire church, they immersed again into Christ, brother. You know, they took the proper baptism after realizing what they have taken is wrong. They had taken the immersion baptism, but that was wrong. That was not biblical. So they realized their mistake. They corrected. They tried to do the Lord's feet, you see, by pleasing the Lord. Read Acts 19, chapter verse 1, 2 and 3, brother. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinthians, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. Ephesus, Ephesus was a Gentile church, brother. It was not composed of Jewish people. You know, Ephesians, Galatians, Philippians, Corinthians, they were all Gentiles people. Okay? Now continue reading, brother. Huh? And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Hmm. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Hmm. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? Hmm. Underline. He puts a question. And what baptism did you take? Continue. And they said, Hmm. Unto John's baptism. Ah, underline, brother. Unto John's baptism. Now, what is the meaning of John's baptism? Continue. Apostle Paul tells. Ah. And said, Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. This is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Lord Jesus. Understood, brother. They took John the Baptist. It was a mistake. You see, they baptized again into Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Understood, brother? So, yeah. if baptism is taken wrongly, it is very, very necessary that we take it in a proper way. You see, some people tell, no, brother, we have taken correctly only immersion. Eh? The entire Jewish nation was baptized in Moses. Correct now? Yeah. And did they not uh, rectify it and took again the baptism of John the Baptist? They took it, no? Yeah. Correct, no? So many people came to John the Baptist and took their baptism, no? Correct, no? Yeah. Yes. Then if we are taken John the Baptist baptism, if that is wrong, then we, to, we need to correct and take a proper baptism, what the Bible says, no? Correct, no? Yeah. That is what the Church of Ephesus did, brother. They corrected and took the baptism, which is scriptural. You know, therefore, what did Jesus say, you know? Jesus said, go, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the you see, Holy Ghost, make them disciples. Jesus said, go, make them disciples. Correct, no? Read Matthew 28, brother. Matthew 28, brother. Uh, verse 19. Uh, read, brother, verse 19. Go, you therefore, and teach all nations baptism. Bapt Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Mm. You see, go and teach all nations, baptizing them. This is not literal baptism, what Jesus said. You know, actually, the word baptism, what that comes here, no, brother? This, uh, actually, the word here is uh, baptizo. In Greek, it is, uh, you see, it comes as uh, baptizo. You see, uh, baptizo. Uh, means actually huh, immersion. You see, immersion is not completely, you see, immersed. Okay, immersed into what? You see, that scripture clearly says, immersed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Name of God means, name of the Father means God. Name of the Son means 
Jesus Christ came to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit only. Now, what is the meaning of this word name? Okay, I'll give you an example. If you say Robin is not good, what does it mean? If Robin I say not... Robin is not good, what does it mean, mother? Does it He's mean not... that the spelling Robin. of Robin is wrong? Robin is not good. Hmm. Means what? Uh, uh, the person is not good. Very good. Not the spelling, but his character is not good. Correct, no, mother? Yeah. Correct, no? Yes. Correct. Same way, when Jesus said to baptize somebody in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, it means to baptize into their character. Immerse themselves completely in the character of God, character of Jesus, character of the Holy Spirit. Completely they should be immersed having the fruits of the Holy Spirit. This is what actually Jesus said. So, you see, so baptism, the real meaning of baptism, you see, we have seen, that is a symbol of consecration. You see, just consecration is not only important, the symbol also is very, very equally important. You see, like for example, if we marry brother, correct? No, if we marry, will we just marry like that only? If we uh, love one girl, or just uh, do you think the girl and boy will just uh, live together and claim that this is marriage? Is it correct? No, brother. See, marriage is there, but that is not the way you live. The symbol is also important. What is the meaning of symbol? You see, you do it in front of your uh, parents. You see, they proclaim your marriage, you see, and uh, do it in a well-organized, decent way. There's a token for marriage, like for exchanging garland or putting your, uh, you see, engagement ring, you see. So, there is a custom, we need to do it. Uh, that is the custom which Jesus said. Jesus never requested us to do anything else. He requested only two things from us. You see, a person, uh, our Lord was so great, you see, he never requested anything from his disciples. He said only two things. First, do this in remembrance of me. That means, do the memorial only once a year. That is absolutely to be done in a proper sense. First one. Second thing, the second symbol what he gave was this baptism. These two things has to be done properly. If you are really the followers of Christ, if you really want to be the followers of Christ, if you really want to please our Lord, if you really want to rule with him for a thousand years, then these things has to be done in a proper way. And this is very, very important. Okay. So, this is the end of our baptism class. Any doubts, brother, most of brother, you can ask now. Any questions you have, you can please ask. I have got the answer, brother, within the class until the end. That is, that is what the Bible speaks, brother. That's the way God speaks. So, it's a marvelous way which God speaks. So we thank yeah. the Lord, we praise the Lord for it. So, good. So you also, uh, uh, got the baptism classes before, yeah? Uh, like, yeah, it was quite similar. Uh, some Something is different. Mm, something, a, a little, little is different only. Yeah. Uh, Correct. So, a, little, a little difference makes a lot of difference. Correct, no? <laughs> a little, uh, little bit less of salt in a beautiful dish doesn't give us the flavor. Correct, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's See, yeah. There is one verse in the Bible, I'll show it to you. Open book of James, brother. James. Yeah, James. Okay. Second chapter. Verse 10. For who, whosoever shall keep the whole law and act upon in one point, he is guilty of all. Yeah. <laughs> so we might be keeping the entire law. Small, small, small. I'm just for the, I'll adjust. Now God should accept now. God should adjust now. Huh? Correct now? No. See, you, you see the strict justice of God, brother. 
you read that verse, then next verse also you will come to know. Then we, I'll give you example. Huh. Verse 11. 11 also. For, for he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. Hmm. If you do not commit adultery, but do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. See? <laughs> I have not broken one law, but I have broken another law. That means what? You you become a transgressor. You become the, you you broken the as if you have broken the entire law. So yeah. whether you break one law or all the law, it's the same. So there's no difference at all in the God's justice. Correct? No. Yeah. See, yes. Adam made one fruit. Huh? Correct, yeah. brother. Yeah. Now what big big thing did he do? One small fruit. No, leave it. No. Why did God not leave it? Because that is the justice of God. That is what Jesus said. Allow it so be to you now. Suffer it to be so now. Suffer it, leave it. Because this is fulfilling of all righteousness. God's plan, something is there. We need to follow it. Whether we accept, whether we can digest, we can't digest. We need to accept what the God Says. Correct, brother? Yeah, brother. See, one example. Open book of Leviticus, 21st chapter. Uh, Le Leviticus, okay. uh, Leviticus, 21st chapter. Verse 17, but, 18. 17 and 18? Correct. Brother, uh, 12 verse 17 and 18. Ah, no, no, no. Leviticus 21st chapter. Leviticus 21. In that one, verse 17 and 18. Uh, just, just a moment, okay? Mm -hmm. I... If any of your descendants now or in future generation has a physical defect, he must never bring food to offer to God. Okay. No. What does God say? Anybody having physical deformity should never come. That means handicapped person should never come to God. It seems correct now. Yeah. This is speaking about the high priest work. Okay. Now you tell me being handicapped is whose responsibility? Who is responsible for it? It's God's. Then why God is blaming you? <laughs> that you should never come? Why? <laughs> that is God's justice. <laughs> Correct? No? See, God never formed anybody as a sinner or the handicapped person. They are born like that because of their sin. Who told you that you should not be born like this one? Or who told you you should be, be born perfect? This is oh, the justice of God. See, of the no, tell me, tell me, brother, tell me. They were born, yeah, because they were seen already, right? So yeah. they were born. Our ancestors were seen or so. Correct. So this shows God's justice, brother. That means God never accepts even a small violation of his commandments. If God says it should be like this, it should be like that only. We can't change it. Correct? No? This is an example. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now one more example. Moses, he led the people of Israel from Egypt to promised land. Correct? Huh? Yeah. Now, did he go to the promised land? Moses, he, does, he didn't get chance. Why? 
God could have given him a chance. No, why did God not give a chance? Because he has done one mistake, right? Correct. Because God is. How many mistakes Just... were there? Only one mistake. Only one. Understand that one. That's the importance, sir. He neglected God's commands. What God told, he should have done it exactly. He minutely, small commit mistake, brother. God yeah. said, no, 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 no. He pleaded God. He begged God. God told, go to the mountain, see the promised land. That's all. No going, no entering promised land. Imagine, Moses suffered so many things, brother. 120 years, brother, he walked in the path of God. Imagine, waited 120 years to go to the promised land. Last moment, if God doesn't allow, how bad Moses would have felt, no? You see, such a... Such a lot of efforts, faithfulness, everything went waste. Why? Just a small mistake. Correct, no, brother? Mosa, brother, is there? Yes, brother. Yeah, I all. I, so, I, mistakes do cost us so many things. It really, you see, I, mistakes cost us our crown uh, also. I think small mistakes sometimes we doesn't. Uh, even maybe the government also, uh, the government law also doesn't fulfill the justice for correct. the small. Correct, correct. But but it's not like that. We correct. our nation. Correct. See, forget about this government law. This is all fake. This is all not important for us. Our government is from uh, our master. Okay. So we need to be very careful. You see, violating things which are not pleasing to him. When God has clearly told us not to do like this, but to do like this, what we should do? We need to, we need to, like we need to do what the God says. Correct. Simply do it. That's all. No questioning again and again. Correct now? What, okay. what is the problem in that one? Nothing, no problem. When we committed wrong, we were eating food like this one. Correct now? When God has told, no, 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 Raja, you can eat your food like this also. Now, what we should do? Wait. <laughs> we don't, we don't, no, we no, don't no. Say. I'm eating like this. I'm eat, I'll eat like this. From, from like this, you can eat. God has taught you a simple thing. Nothing great. Okay? Simple thing we can do. See, Naman thought like this only. Huh? Elisha, did not, Elisha did not come out from the house. Now, I'm go, not going to immerse. I'll go like this only. Stubborn. You see? The soul just told, oh, think calmly. What did Elisha say? Did he say any great thing? Very simple. Go and dip in Jordan. No, what is wrong? If it happens, it let it happen. If it doesn't happen, no problem. You see, simple thing. There's nothing that is wrong. Okay? Like for example, memorial, the Lord's Supper. When we need to take with the The Lord's Supper, when, when do we need to take? It's once a year. So we should take it or not? We must need to take. We, yeah, then if somebody is taking for monthly once, uh, uh, do we need to join them? <laughs> that is not the proper way. Correct, no, brother? See, when God says you should not do it, if we keep on joining and taking there, does it really please the Lord, brother? Yeah. Correct. We need to think. Simple. See, God has not told us any great thing. Brother, these are all very simple things. Brother. We need to only sacrifice. We need to leave our selfishness. That's all. Our ego. Only thing that is stopping us to do the Lord's will is only two things. Our selfishness and our ego. That's all. If we leave uh, these two things, automatically, simply our, our life will become very easy. What did Jesus say? If any man wants to be my disciple, first thing, what is that one? He must uh, deny himself. Underline that word, brother. Always in your life. Whenever question comes before our mind, to do the Lord's will or to accept what others say, the worldly people, the false people who say, the question is that comes to our mind, we need to think, I want to be the disciples of Jesus or not. If you want to be, do the simple thing, deny yourself. Our aims, our ego, our friendship, our friends, relationship, all this will come. We need to deny for the Lord's sake. Then carry the cross. Then follow in footsteps. 
if you're not able to deny yourself in the first step only, you forget about carrying the cross and becoming the disciples of Jesus, following his footsteps. That is all last thing. Okay, brother? So, we, I'll give you one more example. 1 Samuel, 15 chapter, brother. 1 Samuel, 15 chapter, verse 19, brother. And verse 20. You know this incident. Read verse 19, I'll tell you the incident. 1 Samuel 15, 19. 19, right? Mm. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Underline it. Here Samuel comes and asks the question to King Saul. Why did you not obey the Lord's words? Simple matter. Obey the Lord's words. Why did you not do it? You see, God told to kill all the Amalekites, all the animals, human beings, everything, but he did not kill it. He left the king alive. Samuel was so angry. He came and asked, why did you not do it? You see, then continue. Huh? Instead, you loudly rushed upon the spoils and did what? was evil in the sight of the Lord. See, you did. Evil in the sight of the Lord. Leaving somebody alive whom God has told to kill was evil in the sight of God. Now imagine, you see, for this question, what was the proper answer to be given by King Saul? What, what would have been the proper reply, you see, for King Saul to give? Samuel has come and told, you have committed a sin. What is that you have done? You have done wrong in the sight of God. Now what was the real reply, actual reply King Saul should have given? Mm, actual reply because uh, if somebody comes and tells you but the most of what you've done, you've done wrong. Now, what would your reply be? If you're if you're really done wrong, what would actually your reply be? I'm sorry. Very good, brother. That is the answer, brother. That is a simple answer. God was waiting from the mouth of King Saul. Now, what did he reply? Read verse 20. I did in, indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I you have brought man. What was his reply, brother? What was his Easy. reply? Read again, verse 20. Huh? I have brought back Agab, the king of Amalek. No, 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 no. Read verse 20. First Samuel okay. 15, 20. I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. Underline it. Did he really do the Lord's will? He didn't. He understood. He assumed that whatever he did was the Lord's will. But he did not do it. So what happened? We know very well. God rejected him. Third number there. Yes. Just simple words, brother. He could have simply asked, Lord, I am sorry, I have sinned. It would have been a very simple matter. God would have forgiven, forgot everything forever. But uh, Saul was so stubborn, he never accepted his mistake. We should not be like that. Correct or not? Correct, no, brother? What's the brother? You're there? Yes, brother. I'm I'm speaking. Okay. Correct or not? Yeah, it's correct, brother. Yeah. It's now read correct. one it's more correct. person's mistake. We will see. First Samuel. Sorry, second Samuel. Twelfth chapter. Second Samuel, twelfth chapter, verse thirteen, brother. Should I read, brother? Here we know the incident. David had committed fornication with Bathsheba. Correct? Yeah. He killed 
Bachipa's husband murdered, married Bachipa. Nobody knew anything. So God knew it. He had committed in secret which nobody knew. God knew it and God sent Nathan. Nathan clearly told what he had sinned, what mistake he had done. You know, what was the first words which came out from the mouth of David? Read verse 13, brother. I have sins against the Lord. Underline, brother. The first words, what, why? <laughs> Nothing. Simple answer, brother. I have sinned against the Lord. He clearly understood, I have never sinned against Uriah. No, 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 not again Bathsheba also, not again any person. This mistake, I have committed fraud against my God. God loved him so much. You know, what does the Bible say? Bible says, David is the beloved of God. You know, we address Jesus. Jesus is whose son? As per the Bible, Jesus is called a son of whom? God. Son of God. Then, other, other title? Son of the Almighty God. Then, other title, son of? The morning sun. Then, other? <laughs> son of the heaven. Then, continue. Keep on saying. Until you tell the right answer. Continue, continue. You, you, you know the answer. Tell me again. <laughs> son of men. Very good. Next. What all you said is correct. Continue. Uh, then. Um. He is also called of son of whom? Son of we just heaven. now read the person now. Ah, son of David. Oh, very bright light. Super brother. So Jesus is called son of David. Underline it. Is he called son of Solomon? Is he called son of anybody else? No. He was never called even the son of Moses or Abraham. He's called the son of David. You know why? Because it pleased God that David's obedience was so great. This is what we need to copy, brother. When we realize mistake is mistake, even 0.1111%, we should rectify it. Correct now? Yes, brother. Though we have taken baptism thousand times in a different way, it has to be corrected, repeated in a proper way. Correct, right, brother? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, any questions, you, any doubts you have, you tell me. So, no doubts. Mm, this, there is no doubt, brother. Okay. Any questions you want to ask? No. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, Ashish Pudari, you want to speak anything?